I'm here to talk about the 180 day workbook. We have tried two so far and have ordered two more that are here that we haven't tried yet. But I want to tell you all about them and how great they are. My son's special needs, he has global apraxia, which means he has, I think, apraxia and dyspraxia. Not really sure how that works, but to make life difficult. He has autism and generalized epilepsy. We tried Bookshark. And we absolutely love all the books in Bookshark. My son loves me reading them to him. But he couldn't really do the worksheets. They just weren't for him. Even the uh, language art worksheets for writing are a little hard for him. We're still trying, but they're still hard for him. So we tried other things like we do all about reading. We do Kumon workbooks. We've done everything. And Kumon workbooks are great. But for kindergarten level, they are a little babyish looking and... Uh, a lot of people, do, some people don't like that, or some people think they need a little more challenging, like they have a pre-K science, and a kindergarten science in Kumon, but it's all coloring and sticker activities, no, uh, and drawing lines of things. It's, so I think at that age, they should have a little more multiple choice in it, but it's still a good workbook. I still highly recommend the Kumon workbooks if you're starting out in kindergarten, and then progress. And this is our progression after we've done the Kumon, which is 108 days geography. We did kindergarten version. Um, this is a lot of map work, teaching you how to read maps and stuff. But look at the book. Here, I'll show you the first week. I'll start. Here's the first week. Starts out like this. And then here's the second day. Here's the second day, here's the third day, the fourth and fifth day. You can do it however you want. You can do it in the next week, as you move through the books. You can do it any way you want. You can do uh, one day a week, I mean one day, one, let, one page a day, or you could do uh, this on Friday and make it five pages. Um, just, just do one week a day, one week a day. That's what we've been doing so far, one week a day, because I would like to get these done before, I'd like to get these geography done and science done before the summer is over, so that we can do the first grade ones when school starts. And my son is special needs, like I told you guys, and um, there was one time where I told him to draw land form, draw mountain, draw hill, draw valley, draw a plane. He wrote the words. I did not complain about it because he got the practice without practicing. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, sometimes I help him with the drawing, sometimes we do it together, but it's just pretty cool. I'll show you what the last week looks like. So it's 36 weeks, so it will last a whole school day, whole school year if you want to. Or if you school all year round, you can break it up differently. Like we did geography first. And then we're moving on to social studies from the same company. So you could do one semester geography and one semester social studies. And here's the answer key for that. If you have a kid that likes to repeat, I highly recommend you take those out or you photocopy those. Um, this one is the 180 day science. It, this one covers uh, the earth and space, life and physical. Physical. Kind of weird. Here's how it starts out. So simple again. So simple again. Just answering questions and stuff. And and you can let your kids just do what they want on it. You can just tell a kid what they need to draw on the drawing pages. What I do is I tell them what you need to draw and have them just draw. His brain sees things different than we do, so I just let him go and be. And you learn more as you go. See it progresses and stuff. And it's pretty cool. Um, it's always something to read about and learn about. I highly recommend this. Okay, here's the social 180 day social studies for kindergarten, civics, economics, geography, and history. So you could just get this and use it 
Let's get the the joke if you want. Right, right, my son likes maps. He's always constantly getting a map book. We're currently going through the beginners United States Atlas from National Geographic. Okay. And he absolutely loves it. It starts out like this. And they have them for different grade levels. I believe they have it up to grade six. So you have a kid that that's a little bit older. They have it. You see it progresses and teaches you things, which is pretty cool. I highly recommend that you do this one one semester and then this one another semester. Or you can get all the 180 day workbooks and just do one page a day in every one. It's up to you how you want to do it. But I will always do this one first and then this one next. Because it's pretty cool. The last one, it just came in the mail. I got it because my son took a test recently and I realized that his reading part it wasn't as good as I thought it was. So I got him this. And this one's pretty cool because it comes with a CD. I do not have a computer, but it comes with a CD that has everything in this book on the CD. So if you have two kindergartners or you have a first grader who's not ready to go to the first grade book yet, you can get this for your kindergartner. Have your kindergartner do out of this book or the first grader and just print off sheet for the other kid. Which I think is pretty cool. So you can get one book and use it for multiple kids. And the books look like, the page look like this. Starts off t asking you to end it. starts off with circle a word, circle the circle the word of the picture. So it shows you the little, little rat and how you circle a rat. But it starts off by writing the word in for you. And you just trace it. And it does that for a while. And here's the story you read and the comprehension, the questions. Now, if you can you can't read it, that's fine. The goal for this book is to get him to understand comprehension. And my goal is just to have, him, to have my son repeat everything that I say in this book. Okay, and then after, like, here's something else to do. Okay. Our story. But anyway, you do that till week, no, week five. So week five, they will tell you to write the answer, have it trace the answer. And on week five, you write the answer yourself, which is fine. Um, I would definitely have my son write this answer in. I'm going to write this one more. Um, this one here. It has you look at a story, see what happened, and finish the story with a picture and label. I would definitely help my son write the label. But these pages here, definitely my son could totally write in a single letter in those boxes. Anyway, and then by the time you get to the last week, last week in here, which is 36 weeks, like this, that. basic so it's kindergarten level and a gentle approach it helps and I like it so I like the reading I just got it and I love it I will definitely be getting a CD player a DVD player whatever kind of player portable CD player for my computer I would definitely highly recommend the geography ones they have uh, all the way up to sixth grade and same with reading um, science, I highly recommend. They have up to sixth grade too. And social studies, I highly recommend. They have up to sixth grade. Highly recommend this company. It's the Shell Education. Highly recommend it. The 180 day workbooks. I highly, highly recommend them. And I'll definitely be using it with my son in conjunction with Bookshark. I love Bookshark's books. The workbooks are a little not right for my son, but I will still be getting the workbook, the worksheets, because at some point he's going to be able to do them. I hope not. Then I can give them to a friend who wants extra practice for the kid. Anyway, so I highly recommend Social Studies.
science, geography, and reading. And we're getting the other ones too. They have math. Let's see, they have math. Yeah, math. They have math, and they have uh, so oh, a problem solving. Problem solving, math, writing, language arts, highly frequent, frequent, highly frequent words. And they have a ton of these. Uh, they, they make a ton of these workbooks, so I, I should I recommend you go check them out. Please cheap on Amazon, or you can go to their uh, website. Because there's some that Amazon either doesn't have, you gotta get from the third party. But if you wanna just get it directly from the company, if you're one of those people that like to get directly from the company, then I highly recommend go to that website. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday. And I'll see you in my next video, which will be on week 17 of Bookshark. I need to make a video on that. So I'll probably do it this weekend. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.